Now you will get comma, then within curly braces Ravikant. So this is called string concatenation. Now I see the change. I change the name to Suresh underscore 2. You can see in the formula below 11. You can see now Suresh underscore 2 has, been, has come up. Right? So whatever change I do it to this value, automatically it will reflect in B11. So B11 is nothing but the formula of what you have uh, given it under this portion. So if I, in another sense, if I change here math of English to 90, automatically the total will change. Automatically percentage will change. So because we have used formula now, we have not hard coded the value. So if I use here now 85, automatically the value will change. Minimum value will change, maximum value will change. For example, I put it here 12, the minimum value also will change now, 207. So the minimum value, maximum value, average, everything because it is all driven by the formula. This is the advantage of formula. This is the most important activity of a formula. Right? So we have just given an introduction to the formula. Formula has a huge importance. So we will see now how that has been done. Right? Next. So now we have seen concatenation. Concatenation is nothing but I am adding up strings. I want to add multiple strings. I can use concatenation. Right? Now this entire data is in a single place. You can see the formula over here. So concatenate is the formula for adding multiple string. Right? Next. Next important activity in the formula is date functions. We want to deal with the date. So when we are, because this is a common mistakes that every individual does when they are typing it over here. People generally, whenever you say date, people do it like this. 7, uh, so dot 11, dot uh, 2013. This is what people generally type. Some people say 7 slash 11 slash 2013. For, right? So when I did that, you can see now he has automatically converted as 7, hyphen 11, hyphen 2013 when I put a slash. Right? Some people does it like this. Uh, 11, 7, 2013. So now you can see now it is 7th month of 11th date. Right? So whenever we come into the date, the most important thing in the date is the, uh, I'll go to uh, format. I'll just go to format cells, right click format cells, this cell I am formatting, just explaining you what are all the features available in date. You can see a date column here, right, I selected the date column. Uh, how I come to this location, I have selected any cell that I want to see the formatting of the cell, right click on the cell, you can see a format cells. So if this format cells is about formatting that particular cell. In this, I select a date. So you might have noticed now that cell when I select, initially it was general. Now I have selected a date. So these are all the formats of date available. So using the date in the system defined format is very, very important. Reason is, for example, I want this 7-11-2013, I want to add some days to it, right? This will not now considered as a date. Even though it is a date for you, it is not actually a date. For example, I like to say 11-11-2013. So 11-11, I want to now do minus this it will give a value like this. Because he is not able to understand what this is. So now if I give it in the actual date format 11, 11, 2013. This is also a date format. 
I apply the same formula here, you can see now it is 4 days. So between two dates, I want to know the difference between the two dates. You can see now it is 4. Whereas in the previous condition, when I try to subtract, because he is not considered as a date. For you, it may be looks like a date. But for system, it is not at all a date. For system, it is something else. So he cannot understand what you are trying to type in. Right? Some people, so people generally put in as they wish. They will type it like this, uh, 4 or uh, the same say 7 or uh, 2013. Right? Uh, actually you meant 7 2013. But system has default taken July 2013. Right? If I consider here 2313. Now it will consider as 23 13 because he doesn't understand it is 23 date and 13 is the year. He doesn't understand that. Right? So if I have to do any date manipulation, I want to do calculate the age. Right? I want to calculate uh, the date of joining as on date. If I want to do any of the date operations, I have to be careful that I choose the date format of that particular column. I have to be very, very careful. If I am not selecting the date format, right date format, I will get the value like this. I cannot do a subtraction and then I have to do manually. Right? So always use the appropriate date format. So the formatting, what all the format he supports on the date, it is available over here. So these are all the format of date he supports. You want 4 digit, you want 14 like this. In custom also you have a lot of date formats. So you can see DDMMYY, this format you want, you can have it like this. So now I say now uh, 10th Jan 2013. It will consider no issues. I want to now subtract this value to 10th January. Subtract this value minus 10th January, I get 305 days. So it will exactly give me the number of days. Right? I want to do month of. Return the month, a number from 1 for January, 12 for December. So month of, right? This month. So, I am sorry equal to month. I have to type it full. Then select this. Now it is 10th month. Right? So I have to given it as 16. Sorry, it is not 16. It is uh, C16. C16. You can see it is the first month. So it is a month off. I want to know the day off day of right day of this this is day of right I want to know day in 360 days format 360 days format you give a start date and end date so you can get the uh, 360 days so I give a start date comma end date I can say 301 days so that is 301 so I can get any of this operation I want now uh, so date year I want to know the year of year of right I select now this 2013 that is the year so can I change USA date? I can change this date. I want to change it into different date format. I can do that as well. So date, you can see now uh, it's all in India. Okay, fine. I go to custom. I go to now MMDDYY. Okay, date, location, US, 
English United States. Now I'll have uh, zero one is year March fourteen like this March two thousand fourteen March custom. Yeah, mom, D D Y Y. Long format is there, short format is there. I'm sorry. Format cells. Uh, it is available since I have set it for Indian date. I think it is coming as India. So, calendar type English. Now I think a uh, month. This is the month. So, I can get this format. Month, date, month, date and calendar year. So, so I can do it in any format I like. All other things will remain same. So you can do the format cells. So I gone into instead of Western, I gone into so I got this whether it is 2001, 2013 like that. So any format I can get. It should not be any. Only thing what is important here is for any date value that you want to do subtraction, addition. I want to now add say 10th uh, January 2013 I like to add 300 200 days I want to know what is the date here so this plus this right it is 29th July to 2013 right I want to now how to calculate difference between as I said here this is the difference between date C14 minus B14 right so it is all very simple here. Right, I want to know, these are all some of the uh, date value, converts the date in the form of text to a number that represent the Microsoft date value. For example, I want to know date, this is internal, so the way the Microsoft considers the date. One minute. Date value. So year. So 2013. Month 11. Month uh, day it is 10. So it will give you this. 10 11 2013. So Microsoft format as well. So this is also it is possible. So you can do a main important thing is if you want to manipulate the date, you have to be very careful. Saturday, Sunday will be off for session, right? Yes, we will be off on Saturday, Sundays, correct. So this is very, very important. So if you want to add from this date, I want to add a month, right? I want to add a month here. This date plus month of, say, uh, 10, Uh, not like that. Uh, it is a month of uh, say uh, 10 11 2013. So you can see a error here. The reason is because this formula if you want to see the error there is a problem with the number used in the formula. So he doesn't understand this number. Now you can see he has understood the number because I have to put it within quotes. Without quotes he doesn't understand. So with quotes if I give you see 10 he has added 10 to this date. So 21st January. So because month will return a numeric data that numeric is added to the calendar days. Right? These are all some of the date functions very important functions that you need to remember. I stop the session today here.
tomorrow we will see more about formulas and uh, aggregate using in a real time where it is being used. That also you will see tomorrow. Uh, could also repeat the last one. Here you can see here month of this month of I will put it here in two ways. One I will put here month of I have given like this 10, 11, 2013. This is what I have given. So this is returning 11 days now. So I am adding now this with this. This is what I am doing it in this column. So this column I am doing, this is one formula applying in this, this formula. Right? So I will send the same sheet to you all. Right? If possible, they will send it across today itself. Otherwise, it will be uh, tomorrow morning. But I will try my best to send it across now at the, at, the early, at the earliest. Right? So, if you have any more queries, you can put that in the questionnaire. I will be happy to reply you all those questions. We will meet. Uh, tomorrow we have a session because tomorrow being Friday. Uh, we may not have a session in uh, maybe a Saturday, Sunday. Convert 30 months into 2.5. What does it mean? Divided by you want uh, 30 divided by 2.5. So he doesn't know 30 months. Right? 30 is a data. 2.5 is a decimal for dividing factor. So 30 divided by 2.5. Uh, you didn't get you didn't get a recording of last day. You will get it maybe today. Uh, there is a delay in our uh, hosting that into the website. So it will reach most probably today or tomorrow morning for sure along with today's recording. If you get it today, you will get yesterday's recording. If you get it tomorrow, you will get both the recordings. Sorry for that. You should get it every day morning. That is what our uh, process says. Some of it has got missed out. Fine. Thanks a lot. Have a nice day. Have a great day. Bye.